Hi guys, so today I have a university room tour for you. Um, right now it's Sunday and I'm back home for the weekend so I'm in my actual room at home. But I pre-filmed this and I'm just doing a little intro for it. So yeah, this is my university room and if you want to find out where I got a lot of the stuff I did say, but if I didn't mention something you can check out my university haul which I did before I went to university I'll link that down below for you and yeah I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started so this is what you see when you first walk into my room and just here on the right I have um, a like thing with hooks that came with the uni and I just have all of my coats up there I've got like six coats up there and down here is just where I keep my door stopped because sometimes I like to leave my door open and here by my bed I have a bin and two bags and I use either that bag or that bag for university depending on if I want a rucksack or a handbag and this is my bed and I got a lot of the bedding from Primark actually all of the bedding I have this bedding and it's reversible so you can have this darker grey side and grey sheets and that pillow is also from Primark and this little Simba teddy bear which I got from Disneyland. By my bed I like to keep all of my like makeup removers and stuff so I have like a thing of cotton pads and my Garnier Micellaire cleansing water and a moisturiser and a lip balm and that's just because I like to take my makeup off in bed. I don't know why, I just do. And then I have this lamp. I took the actual like lamp base from home, so I'm not sure where that's from. But the lampshade I bought from Wilco, and it's just a black one. And then I have this um, extension plug socket thing. And I got the actual um, plug extension. Is this still an extension lead? I'm going to assume it is an extension lead from Asda and in here I just have the lamp plug, a plug for my speaker, my iPhone charger and my MacBook charger and then I also have this coaster that I got for Christmas and my mum got it from like a little market store here in Southampton and I really like that and I have just an empty glass which I need to take in the kitchen then on my windowsill I have my Bose speaker which has been playing up because it's like Bluetooth connected and I always listen to music from my MacBook and it like can never find my MacBook so that's annoying but it can find my phone so I sometimes use it with my phone. I then have a um, empty bottle because I like to save these because if we ever go are going out and we are going for like free drinks at someone else's house I don't ever want to take a glass because then I'll leave that there and I'll like then we won't have enough glasses so I just like fill this up with drink and take those. I then have my radiator right by my bed which I like because I get really cold and I just have a radiator air on there which is from Asda I'm pretty sure. I then keep my like washing bag which has all my washing in it behind my bed because I like that it's just tucked away and no one can see it and I got that from um it was like a 99p shop and I'm not a big fan of the um, pattern but it'll do, it's really big so I can keep lots of washing in there. Then under my bed I just have a large suitcase, a small suitcase and some boxes with nothing in them. I took these boxes because I thought that I wouldn't have enough room to store all my clothes but I actually do. So yeah I haven't found anything to use them for yet but I probably will do at some point. And I also have some cardboard boxes which I brought all of my stuff in to first come here. Uh, I use that suitcase for if I go away for a, like just a weekend and I use the larger suitcase for if I'm going away for a long time or we'll go away I'm just saying, like going home. And then here I have my desk and down here I just keep a load of bags because I put like rubbish in bags they're good for that or like I just think carrier bags are quite useful to keep. Here I have my um like packets that my photographs came in and I like to keep these because when I leave I want to keep the photographs safe so I'm just going to keep those until I leave so that I can keep the photographs safe and I don't lose them. I then have a spare packet of 
Duracell batteries because my fairy lights, which are up here, are battery powered. So yeah, I've got some batteries for those. I then have my diary, which I like to keep on my work in. So I'm all up to date and organized. I then have this folder, um, like hold all, which I keep notebooks in. And we got given this um, like diary handbook thing and I keep spare sheets that I'm given. So if I'm ever like, oh, I need a bit of paper that um, the uni gave me or like a worksheet that they gave me, it's normally in there. So I know where everything is. And then here is just all my like stationary stuff. So I have like a pot of pens. I got these two matching sets from Wilco and I got a lot of the pens from Asda. I got a stapler from Asda. My stepdad gave me a load of um, like stuff like this and I've just got a spare memory card for filming or editing work on or keeping photos on and then yeah a hole punch I got this mirror from Asda it's got a zoomed in side and a normal side and I like that I do my makeup in there which is all here and I just keep like all of my everyday makeup in this makeup bag and then I've got some more lipsticks in that bag all my eyeshadow palettes here, my makeup brushes are in there and I really need to clean them. And then just some other palettes that I sometimes use are there. Um, I keep my MacBook here because that's normally where I do work with the case. My purse there and some tissues because I've had a cold, if you can tell. Everything that I do my hair, like how to do my hair, I like keep it here. So I've got some heat protectant spray, a hair dryer, straighteners, curlers, hairbrush and hair bands and hairsprays and stuff in there. This is my friend Sonia's dress that I borrowed on a night out and it's all washed and stuff but she's not back yet and her room's locked so I can't give it to her until she's back. I keep a lot of my clothes in these drawers that are in my desk so I just have like underwear, um, there's like jumpers in that one, pyjamas, Oh, this is my like chocolate drawer. <laughs> I got all of these chocolates for Christmas and I didn't really know what to do with them because I couldn't really keep them all in my cupboard in my kitchen. So I keep them all in here. And there's also some like hats and gloves there too. But I've got to like eat all of this chocolate and I don't think I'm ever going to. So yeah, that's in there. I have a um, spare handbag down there, which I use for normally going home. And I also have another bag there if I don't have enough room to take all my stuff to go home. I also have a bin and a wash bag. I keep this blanket on the back of my chair, which I got from Disneyland and I love it. And then in these drawers, I have some more clothes. So I have socks and this is also like a medical drawer, which I keep all my like tablets and stuff in. More clothes. They're like summery clothes. And some more clothes. And some more clothes in that one too. Here I just have some photos that I printed out. Well, I didn't print these out. These were at an event, so we like, they're from a photo, um, what are they called? Photo booth. And they're really cute. And then I also have these ones from photo booths on like nights out. And then this is my um, board. Yeah. That um, I keep loads of like photos around it and then, oh like a pin board and then if I need like to pin up any work I've still got room to do that here and around the photos I just have some fairy lights which aren't on right now because I haven't turned them on yet so it looks like this, really cute and then I have this light that came with the uni but it doesn't work so, but I don't really mind because I never really need it and then I just got, um, that's my key, and then I have loads of different spare lanyards because sometimes I like to change this lanyard. And I also have like a Hawaiian layer because we got given those and I kind of wanted to keep it because it made my room look all colourful. I have these like head boppers because I used them for Halloween and I didn't want to throw them away because I might use them another time so I just kind of stuck them up there. And I also have a receipt. Then up here we've just got like a set of shells. And I've got this like clapper board that my media teacher gave me for leaving sixth form and I thought that was cool because I'm studying TV production here so it's kind of like going with the theme. And then have this elephant that I painted because I thought that was cute. I have a Yankee candle that I never really like because it's all the way up there. I'm really short. 
I then have the case for my watch, but my watch isn't in there right now. And then I have a set of perfumes, they're mainly by Ghost. I have Ghost Original Scent, Ghost Sweetheart, a Victoria's Secret Banyo Temptation that Alana got me, a mini Ghost Original Fragrance, and the Ghost Summer Fragrance. I like Ghost Perfume. Um, I then have these two little teddies, and the one on the right is a Victoria's Secret like pink dog that I got when I spent a certain amount at Victoria's Secret. And the other one is a tiger called Tony that I got when I went to the zoo with my boyfriend. And in here is just a load of nail varnishes and nail varnish remover. I just keep all of that in. Up there is more makeup that I don't use every day. And some magazines that I got when me, Alana and some other girls here went to the Birmingham Clothes Show Live. I then have this um, jewellery mini cupboard that I keep all of my necklaces and things in and then in that box I have some champagne and I don't like champagne so I took it to uni with me because I thought that everyone else would appreciate it if I brought some but we haven't actually had it yet, it's still in there so maybe we'll have that on a special day. I have two um, snow fairy like gift sets that I got for Christmas that I thought I could use while I'm here and I have a spare box of ombre hair dye because my hair likes to fade like the blonde just sometimes goes so I have that. Here is my wardrobe I like that it's built into the um wall because it just saves space and there is a full length mirror on there which I was worried that we weren't going to have because I like to see what my outfit is every day so yeah that's good that that's on there and inside I have a hanger on the door which I keep all my scarves on and then these are all my um, clothes that I like to hang up and I've got these like really thin velvet um, hangers from Primark because they're really thin so you can hang more in your wardrobe and then up here I kind of treat as like a loft I have a load of spare Alara tops up there and um, the case that my MacBook came in the case that my phone came in um, some like snowflake wall stickers that I had up when it was Christmas and the Christmas tree that I had up when it was Christmas so that's kind of like my loft that I just keep kind of spare bits that I don't leave out in and that's my wardrobe then this is the door to my bathroom because I have an ensuite um room if you didn't know and just on that door I like to keep lots and lots of photos and I love all of those This is my bathroom. That is a hanger that I normally keep my dressing gown on, but I'm wearing it right now, so yeah. Those um, door hangers are from Primark, by the way. And then this is like an overview of my bathroom. So here is another hanger thing, like by my door, um, that obviously came with the uni, and I just keep my towels on there. All of these towels were from Asda. And then this is my shower with just a shower curtain and down there I have shampoo, conditioner and a body wash and up there I have a different body wash and two set of razors. don't know why I have two sets but I do and yeah it's just your standard shower. I like that it's a shower, like an actual shower and not just a wet room because then all my floor would get really wet and annoying. I have this grey bath mat that I got from Primark and I really like it, it's nice and soft. Um, I have some oost down there that smells really, really nice. Um, up here is a shelf that's like above my toilet and I've got a lot of products up here that I like to use. In this little glass um, set, I have a set of scissors and tweezers. And yeah, I just like to keep them in there. I have some cotton buds, a body butter, some more like face cleansers, hand cream, three deodorants because I've got to stock up. There's a mini hand sanitizer back there. If you can hear that, it's the rain. Um, some mini hand sanitizers, a, another like body lotion, some face mask that Alana got me for Christmas and some spare razor blades. Down here I just have all my cleaning products and spare toilet rolls. And then uh, here is my sink which is like directly in front of the toilet, which I didn't like at first, but now I don't mind it. Um, and I just have some soap there, obviously to clean my hands. 
And then we got this with the uni, which I didn't know we were gonna get to like keep our toothbrush and toothpaste in, so that's good. And then I've also got a mirror with an extra light, which is good, but if you were any taller than me, you would end up like watching yourself in the toilet, which is a bit weird. This is my room from this side. So that was my uni room and I hope you enjoyed it. Obviously it's a very um, like general room, like lots of people's uni rooms probably look quite similar but this is just how I've done mine and I really like it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, give it a like if you did and subscribe because that will be nice. And oh Alana's going to be filming one of these soon but I'm not sure when but when hers is up I'll link it down below so you can watch hers. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!